So, Andreas, who are you and why are you here? I'm Andreas Larsson from MSF in Sweden. I'm here to showcase a new autoclave concept, so a steam sterilizer to, to sterilize uh, surgical instruments in the field. Okay, okay. And so uh, first, uh, you're saying new, and so that implies that we have an existing solution uh, so far for steam sterilization of surgical instruments. Uh, yes. Um, a big thing called a TVM90, as far as I'm aware. Go yes. ahead. Yes, yes, uh, and, and there are several uh, different types of systems for this, but one of the oh, there are several problems uh, today with existing systems. I mean, it's you know partly difficult to use. It consumes a lot of, uh, of water, for instance, and there's a lot of valves to you know take care of. It's quite technical. Quite technical, it takes a long time as well. Yeah. But the most important thing, we, we don't really know for complex instruments like hollow, cannular uh, instruments if the sterilization quality is good enough. So there's questions of quality, and exactly. that has implication for infection for patients. Also. Exactly. I mean, Jay, a brief word, Dr. Jay, about yeah, uh, the importance of decent sterilization. Oh, I think it's level. really important. I think we struggle in, in most of our projects, especially the surgical projects, to sterilize equipment. Just one question. Can you, Andreas, can you tell us what's different about your product? Mm. Why, why is it an improvement on what's mm. already available? Mm. Uh, first of all, it's... it's uh, the existing solutions are, are great in many cases, so it's not, this is not for all situations. But for example, in orthopedic surgery, we really need to, to, uh, to uh, have the highest level of quality. This, uh, the, the existing solutions are not, not good enough. Uh, part of the, the improvements are uh, uh, resource efficiency. So we, we use 70% uh, less, uh, less water. Okay. And the average cycle completion time, the time it takes to actually sterilize things is, is about half the time. Fantastic. But most importantly, we have been able to, to ensure now and, and verify that this actually meets the highest level of sterilization, which we also have proof that the, the existing autoclaves don't, don't do that for these hollow devices. So we've been using an electronic testing system as a complement to the traditional, which is called Bowie Dick tests. And it shows that this is, this is an improvement. And we, we are actually also updating our, uh, let's say, in, in infection uh, control guidelines to, to make sure that, uh, that we know when to use this kind of machines and when to use the others and so on. But in fact, the elephant in the room is, where is your machine, Andreas? Yes, uh, I couldn't bring it today. I mean, it's a 350 kilo machine, and I would have loved to bring it here. <laughs> but it's actually on its way to Haiti, because uh, in the next six months, we're going to field test it there. Because obviously, we have tested in, in, uh, in the training space, uh, in, in, uh, in, uh, in, in Brussels. Brussels. So you've done beta testing we, we've already. We've done yeah. these testing. We know we've done parallel tests with existing machines. But, you know, in the field where, it's matter, where it matters, we, we see how people will use it. Is it easy to replace parts? Is it easy to maintain? Uh, does it do what we think it will do? So six months of testing in Haiti first of all, and then we can say what... what and uh, Haiti is an interesting context, because as far as I'm uh, aware, it's a very high-level hospital. They provide orthopedic surgery, if mm. I'm not wrong. Uh, and so you've given yourself a real challenge as the first test. You're not making it easy for yourself. No, uh, no. But, but I mean, th that's the context. I mean, if we will send this to, to another context where you don't have the electricity, you don't have that kind of stable infrastructure, this machine is not the, the right machine, right? Yeah. And it was, uh, it was Kunduz, uh, which unfortunately, I mean, it's... In we know what's happened in Afghanistan, and it's Haiti, so... Now we're sending it to Haiti, and that's like a, a very good test for this machine. It will be in the next month, so... And so uh, one of the challenges I've heard about Haiti is the fact that they use the American electrical system, and so 110 volts and 60 hertz as opposed to 240 and 50 hertz, and yeah. so that re you have to reconfigure immediately. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, I mean, we know that. I mean, designing something, testing it, you know, it's a totally different ball game. I think. I mean, in the end, we will have to make probably a lot of adjustments in the field and we have people from the manufacturer that's coming there and we have sterilization export experts mm. on board uh, back in Europe so to So this to is help a team effort things. as far as I understand. There's MSF, there's a private company and there's the sterilization experts in terms of work on the question of quality. Can you talk yeah. more about that relationship? Yeah, I think, I mean, the partnership is, is crucial because obviously within MSF we don't know all these kind of things and we have PhDs in, in uh, you know, sterilization that, that really knows uh, how to manipulate these processes and make them work effectively. And we have universities that have been working on, on heater elements because they break down in the previous versions and that kind of stuff to, to make sure, I mean, people have been, let's say, dry boiling uh, instruments for 50,000 euros, you know, because you forgot to put in water. <laughs> we need to, you know, prevent those kind of things from happening as well. So this large network of, of private companies, experts, consultants, uh, obviously within MSF and also with ICRC and other organizations that are, have similar issues, I think. Fantastic.
Great. Well, well good luck uh, in Haiti because that's the real test that's yes. coming up. And we look forward to finding out more online. Where can we find out more uh, information about this? Under the MSF Sweden uh, Innovation uh, website, is that correct? Yeah, exactly. So yeah. we can follow your project yeah. live. Yeah, and, and uh, through the MSF Innovation Twitter account as well, we will update from the field when we, when we test it. So, okay, so as a reminder, that's at MSF underscore innovation, is that correct? Exactly. And, yeah, you're going to be giving us live tweets when the thing goes bang in Haiti yes. the first time. <laughs> yeah. Good. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Thanks.